Hello. Welcome back to Sp Spirit Fair. Hi, combat dude. You've congrats on being first, but you've never seen that screen before? <laughs> because then I assume you haven't heard the music before either. Hi, Killcraft. Because that, that music is also written by me. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, there's actually two uh, that I play usually. There's that one and there's... Um, this one is called uh, Calm Before the Storm. And the other one I use is uh, called Madness. I switch them out every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, we got 75% of requests completed. We're still missing four spirits, it looks like. I'm not sure if that's... Uh... Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, okay, I... Are we missing four spirits? I'm not sure. Maybe there's not that many, not as many as it looks like. Uh, right. So complete a gold dragon in under seven minutes. Min minutes. <laughs> Why did I do that? Um, capture one third of all deadly pulsar rays. Capture over one third of all severe lightning strikes. Huh. Okay. I can try to do those, I guess. Yeah, but must, 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 wow. My, my speech is just not working today. <laughs> you have as much musical talent as the light switch over there. Um. I'm sure you have some musical talent, combat. I'm sure you do. I mean, I, I don't really consider myself that, like, talented music-wise. But it, it's, I don't know. It's one of those things where you never think yourself very good, I guess. I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, I guess, <laughs> at playing piano and stuff. Um, the fact that you can compose music by itself is very impressive. Well, thank you, Guildcraft. I... I just put something together that I think sounds nice. <laughs> Which I guess is all composing really is. It's just, um, it can be difficult to make it sound good. And you have to kind of know music theory to make sure that It makes sense, I guess. Hi, Psalm. No riots. No riots. No, go No. <laughs> Give you a triangle and you show you our power your powers. I'm sure you're very good on the triangles, combat. I'm sure you're amazing at the triangle. What is this? A severe thunderstorm. Sure, let's let's sail into a severe severe thunderstorm, guys. Let's let's do it. Just put something together you think sound nice for it. <laughs> I guess it does come over that way, doesn't it? 
beat the shit out of, out of a tamarind and you're basically a musical genius. I, I'm sure you are, Son. Um, you know what? Have some glue. Have some glue and a hug. You're starving, I know. Uh, you can have... You can have... A meat pie. Wait, what is... I was, he's clapping. I was like, what is he doing? that sound but it's him clapping he's pogging as well amazing when you're in high school they told you dude stop please stop drop kicking the champion you're in, just in band class for creative arts credit i mean if you can make it sound good and drop kicking the champion would be pretty awesome so yeah i, I do think they were jealous Definitely. Another challenge. This is an easy one. A little bit of rain and thunder. I won't say this often. Your survival prob probabilities are rather high. Just don't let your guard down. You won't end up like gr grilled chicken. Remember, use your dash ability in here. You'll need to move really fast. Heads up, thunder is here. Okay, so we want to catch most of these, if possible. Oh, nice song. Oh, God. Don't get distracted. Shit. I'm already... I'm already messing up. Yeah, Dragon Roost is amazing. I'll definitely put that on the list. I still need to do other redeems because I don't play a piano enough, really. Or don't practice enough, I should say. I think I did it. I don't think I did. Did I? Oop. Not bad. I wouldn't put it on the leaderboard or you on the podium, but you've got some talent. This should be a good reward for you. I don't have anything else. Scram. Wow. At least he gave me a treasure map. Wait, did I fail? Is hungry, proud of your work ethic. Okay, well, at least he's proud of me. At least he's proud of me. <laughs> Bullying on the ship. Fix that. Hi, Samet. Um, it's... I mean, I can't... Well, like, I can fix that, actually. can fix that because it's these guys um yeah I have some french fries oh right you already had that yesterday then have some cheese sticks instead so the way I can fix that actually did I uh if I look at this 
Oh, I did do it. Okay, so I need to find the treasure. 3469 is here. Hmm. So there's also Where's the gold dragon? No, that's silver. Which one was the gold dragon? Is the gold dragon like over this way? Maybe I've not seen the gold dragon yet. I mean, there's the Dudley Poles arrays, so we need to do that one too. But first, um, so you want me to stop the bullying. Uh, I can just straight up go to the Everdor, but let's go here first. Because we haven't been there. So the thing is, I can stop the bullying by just throwing them off the ship. Or, well, um, guiding them to the other side, I guess. It's basically throwing them off the ship, but it feels better in a way. Well, the thing is, I can only do that because they've, they're already done, right? That's their request. They want to go there. Stanley also does. So, yeah. It's uh, going to be very quiet on the boat soon. everything and then we're at a new place shadow forest sounds lovely I guess there's a pine tree we can cut down. Chop, chop, chop. Poor cat. Look, the cat chose this life. It's not my fault. Like the only reason the cat is doing that is because the cat actually so the, the cat has the spirit thing on its neck as well and we, did, we didn't put it there like we got ours from uh caron when he left and the cat was like oh i want one too and stole it from caron Like went into his robes and took one. If the cat hadn't done that, the cat didn't have to help me at all. So really it's the cat's fault. Is there more? There's nothing else. Huh. There's just a lot of pine wood, it looks like. Oh, don't, you don't have to cry for the cat. 
The cat chose this life. It's a cat. Well, yeah. Oh, lucky it must be. I've got a new errand. What is this errand? <clears throat> you want a lot of food. Scrambled eggs. How do I make scrambled eggs? I mean, I know how to make it in real life, but... Because I have an egg. One more level, nice combat. Okay, so we have egg. What do you combine with egg to make scrambled egg? Or is it just egg? Just egg. Just egg. Maybe milk. Wait, haven't I done that before? I feel like I... There's like no preparation? What the hell? What do you mean? Like just putting it in the oven like that? I mean, it's a magical oven. It's like powered by lights. Oh, damn it, it just grew. So I could have actually offered him an onion and got like something for it, but that's fine. Uh, does this... How does this thing work? Ah, so I just open it. So six of everything it looks like. Not bad. No seasoning. Magical seasoning. Definitely. Okay, what is it? Is it just a boiled egg or something? No, it's sunny side up. Okay. So egg and milk. And then I'll try mag uh, milk. Well, no, not milk. Egg with uh, oil. And see if that works. Tell that to Ramsey. It's like it's it's magical. I don't need to do it. I don't need to season anything. It just happens. So we're actually bringing two people away. Go scrambled eggs. So it is with milk. Makes sense. Yeah, you first. We need to talk. I've been. You know how I've been. Want to go somewhere? Yeah. All right. Three if you count the world as individually. True. True. Come on, guys. I'm waiting. Whoop. 
I almost forgot. Listen, let's just get on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. Now he's being carried combat by the... By the group. Oh my god! <laughs> I just... Did they fall, fall off the boat? They died. Uh, I didn't plan this life for me or my brother. They used to call me the talker. Could talk your ear off. I would never shut up. However, right now, I don't want to talk. I should just be like my brother and take a moment, pause and listen. Oh. Yeah, and think for a change. Fat chance. At my age, nothing is possible. Nothing changes. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying or trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is the truth is true to myself. That might make me an asshole in the end. Might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of this shit matters. None of it. Do you know why we're here? It's because I have a small imagination. I can't see my I see beyond my back streets, my town, my friends, my family. More importantly, I can't see a life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Funny thing is, he went a long time ago. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. I was holding on to something from the past. My reputation, my house, my car, whatever it was, it was nice while it lasted. It just doesn't change anything. Anyway, you slice it, we're still Maria's kids from Southbrook. Nothing's ever gonna change, not even in the end. All right, Mickey, deep breaths. It's a bird. They're all like spirits, so this is the form they take in the um, like process, I guess. It's it's not that he was always a bird; he was a person. He's just a bird in the afterlife uh, for a bit until he passes on. It's kind of um, with him carrying his brother around, like carrying the weight of that the brother, I guess, in a way, in a sense. It's purgatory. Yes, it's not like it's like a go between. So we're just caring for them for their spirits until they're actually ready to pass on to the actual afterlife or whatever, like the sky, <laughs> who knows. Let's go see what everyone's been raving, been raving about. I'll send you a postcard, kid. Oh. I, I never really liked them a lot, but they were still, they'll still be missed. <laughs> yeah. And then we get another constellation. Doesn't work for you? I'm not sure why it does it shows up for me, Gilcraft. Do you mean the Medelli Red? Oh wait, are you on the Yeah, it's a follower remote. Are you on mobile? Because then it doesn't 
<laughs> it's so stupid that it doesn't work on mobile yet. There were people from a rough neighborhood that reflected a lot in their story. It did, yeah. But it just meant that... It just meant that um, I had a hard time... Um, interacting with them just because... Um, the way they are, like being from a rough neighborhood. Usually when people talk like that, I, I don't really like that way of living. It's not their fault. It's just the way they talk and stuff uh, kind of irks me a bit. But I, do, I still like them, like as characters. But it's also why everyone else on the ship always felt like they were being bullied. Because they would do that. But only because they were from like a, a bad neighborhood and all that. As foretold, here we are again, Spiritfarer, for the last time. Feeble and helpless, a faint murmur, drifting in silence. Whispered words, a simple question. Why did you choose this life, Stella? Why did you spend it ushering others through their final, final moments? Was your vocation an affectionate duty born of compassion or a display of selfishness, of everlasting uncertainty? Did you do it for them or for yourself? To know me and grow accustomed to my presence? To conquer me? Am I less daunting to you now or am I still a ghastly shadow, a deafening absence? Remember, when your body failed, you knew. You'd seen it a thousand times. You knew I would come. You fought valiantly, yet suffered all the same. I was deep within your heart, as I had always been. In your final moments, you accept my call. You slowly draw your last breath. And here we are. You know this is the end, but you are not alone. Embraced by the love of your mother, and now your sister. She is here, holding your hand. Go now, you are not alone. Oh. F. Bling. I thought I muted the achievement sounds. Like, I actually went out of my way to mute them. And apparently Xbox doesn't care. It's still just... The Xbox Game Pass app. It's just like, yeah, no, we'll still give a notification sound. I mean, is it really a surprise that we are dead? Like... We're ushering people to the afterlife. <laughs> I don't think we would be alive if we were doing that. But, I don't know. Hello. Uh, am 
Mallow Commander as a hero of... of... Uh, damn, I should have read, read the script sooner. Uh, oh well, never mind. Yeah, I'm taking a pause, and you should too. It's always a good moment when we're in between games to browse through your character sheet. Maybe think of what you'll do next with your XP. But don't worry, I'll soon be ready. What did you think of the beginning of Gordon Nemlot's story arc? Pretty cool, huh? I've taken as a basis the Dungeon of Destruction. Sprinkled here and there a few elements from the mask of, Masks of Emotap. And added the single best magic item from the Royal Campaign. Oh, and uh, I'll let you in on a sec little secret. Remember one eye Umbrothog from the Three Towers? Yeah, remember him? I've added him to the campaign. Converting his stats into the new edition was a pain in the butt, though. But I'm so excited. Alright, alright, I'll go back to my notes. Can't be ready soon enough. See ya! Well, I'm glad you're happy with your D&D stuff. Though they don't call it D&D, but whatever. You might be fake alive. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Must I do everything for you? You've not prepared lodging for me? Write this, quickly. Something sparse, no frills, and I need it post haste. Go now. Okay. That sounds easy enough. Four walls and a roof. Hopefully I have the materials. I should do. I don't. I need steel sheets. Uh, surely I have enough. Steel sheets uh, from up here. Uh, steel need more carbon powder. Uh, wait, where's the? Is it on top? No. have a pizza too. It's illegal to let children go hungry. Well here have a pizza. Oh you don't want pizza right because you don't like veggies. Then have some eggs. Okay uh where is the crusher? Oh <laughs> right here. Okay here's the crusher. Ding. Ding. Must do this? Wait, must do what? talking about combat. Uh, 
Wow, you didn't quite get it. And your your Pokemon got stolen too. Oh no. Your cubicle is a very awkward size for what I have currently. This would fit better here. Oh, wait, no, it leaves the strip. Is that a problem? Not really. Where do I put this then, though? On top of here? Sure. Sure. Um, wait, where is... Wait, where are we? Just... Yeah, that's what I thought. We weren't... Oh my god. We have to go back to the Everdoor. I was like, we're not at the Everdoor because otherwise we could have just brought... Um... What's his name? Uh, Stanley. I forgot his name. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> okay. Do you like it? This will do. This will do nicely. But let me warn you. I need the bare minimum. Please do not add anything to these quarters. Not a single ornament. <laughs> You're so moody all the time. Have a grilled chicken. No meat ever. Okay. Okay. Fair. Grilled veggies. That is healthy. Okay. Likes healthy food. That's, that's good to know. Good to know. Um, magical seal. Do you know the way? Of course the magical seals knows the way. Pretty sure you've eaten my food somewhere. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. And the reason I knew is because <laughs> I was going to feed him, but he was already full. The only reason he could be full is because he ate something that he wasn't supposed to. Bree? Wait, is that... What? I know, I know. I'm late. 
I couldn't get off work earlier. Parking in this part of town is a mess. And this place, it's a maze. Listen to me. I'm going on about parking and look at you. Are you awake? How are you holding on? Can you hear me, sis? Can you say, Lily is my favorite sister to, for me? Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's true. I'm your only sister, so you don't have a choice here. I wish I could hear your voice. I'd rather have you screaming, Lily, get out of my room. I'd rather have you laughing. I'd even rather have you snoring. Let me come a bit closer. Mom's asleep. It's late, I know. Jeez, I'm two hours late. Sorry again. No wonder Mom's passed out. Oh, I have a surprise for you. I swung by the house yesterday and got some things. Well, two things. First, where is it? There we are. Voila. A bottle of single melt from Mom's secret stash. Don't worry, I'll do the drinking and the talking for both of us. And there's your photo album. It's got some good ones. Cute baby pictures. Big family gatherings. Embarrassing college parties. It works. Let's start at the beginning. Stella, the adorable baby. Jeez, being this cute should be illegal. Give me a second, I'll pour myself a drink. Oh, look at this one. You're so tiny. Where was this taken? What does it say on the back of the picture? Colmar Elsa's 1973. Maybe in a coma. Basically, we're dying. <laughs> Like, the owl is basically death itself, I guess. Constantly reminding us how close we are to passing on ourselves. Even though we're shepherding these spirits to their afterlife, we're also close to afterlife ourselves. So, my assumption is that the game end is basically uh, us passing on as well. That's my assumption. Okay, Stanley, let's do this. We're, we're already sad, so might as well make it even sadder, right? <laughs> I liked it when it was just you and me, doing experiments and running around chasing dust shades. Don't forget to do that sometimes. I won't be there, but I'm sure it will still be fun. Oh. I will, Stanley, I will. Mushroom boy. People can be mean. Really mean. Why do they have to be? My mum is mean sometimes, just like your friends after my play. And it makes me sad when people are mean. And sometimes I cry when I'm sad. But then I remember. I remember what my dad used to say. Stanley, people are not really mean. Sometimes their intentions just take the wrong path. I don't hate your friends. They're not bad people. That's what my dad would say. They just do bad things sometimes. I never wanted to let mom down or make people not like me. I don't want to do bad things, but sometimes I do. And I always regret it. I don't think that makes me bad. Do you think my mom will be disappointed in me? Disappointed that I had to go? I tried. I really tried, but I don't think I did. I like it when I win, but I couldn't this time. I think it's okay. It's okay to lose sometimes. I really think it is. I'm really trying to be brave, but I'm I'm really scared. I wish I could be a superhero and never be afraid. I've hoped so much that this was just a nightmare. If this is a nightmare, why can't I wake up? I was trying. 
trying and trying. I wanted to wake up. I always talk to myself, Stanley wants to wake up, but it never worked. I never woke up. It all felt so real and it made me sad. So sad I couldn't think of anything other than sadness. You take care of Jacob, okay? Jacob is a good beetle. He was my friend. This is exactly like in my play, but this time I am the lead actor. I will put on a good show, I promise. Oh, Stanley. <laughs> Poor kid. You remember what your dad used to say? Get a fucking job, Stanley. Oh, but he's not... He's not actually old enough to get a job, I don't think. I feel strange. I feel cold. I wish mom were here. And dad? But you are here, big hat. I really like you. I hope it's like falling asleep. Oh. Standing. Well... Alright. Thank you so much for the 11 months. How are you doing? And thank you for the house song. We're just uh, having a lot of sadness at the moment. <laughs> I didn't think the first hour of the stream would be so sad. But here we are. Let's cus catch some dust mites. Or whatever they are. For, for Stanley. He would have wanted this. a bit quiet now uh, yeah quite a bit more quiet than it was oh you bastard get, get back here oh well oh. you're doing great that's good that's good aura always nice to hear bacon and eggs nice Yeah, we just said goodbye to two people and then um, we met the owl again who told us that we were also dead <laughs> which is great it's always good to hear you know and then we saw Basically, the spirit of our sister over here. Who is talking to us while we're in a coma in the hospital. <laughs> or basically dying in the hospital. It's, um, yeah. <laughs> Sad things. Where was the treasure? It's 
something like that. What was it exactly? Uh, 34.69, okay. There. Oh, right, I... <sighs> I keep thinking, oh yeah, hug, but no, they hate hugs. I... <sighs> so who do I have to hug left, then? Just a little burb, right? That's basically it. Oh no, wait, no, there's the... I mean, I don't know what he is. Uh, Buck. Um, so that's the cellar. Can put some milk in there. Some yogurt in there. So they're still sleeping. Um, where is. Where did I put your house? This one. Oh, she's also still sleeping. Oh, nice combat. And finally evolve it. There you go. Now what? Um, now I don't know. Did you do something else? Catch something else? Evolve something else? Marriage ring. to be a teacher, still am, used to have a classroom in the kind of school that made sure each student passed. The kind of school that teaches that money can buy everything. And every September it was full of students ready to learn. Each year, however, they failed to impress me, chatting amongst themselves, passing glances around, closing their ears and their minds to my lessons. Immature little shits. <laughs> All of them. Wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Arr. What does old Johnny Silverleg see? I'm trying out a new character, just roll with it. Your kin has boarded the vessel. Our pirate captain has a sister. Or should I say, an able sailor. Someone to swap the decks, perhaps. No, no, no. Excuse me, oh great pirate captain. We wouldn't, we wouldn't, <laughs> we wouldn't give a member of your family such foul duties, especially since she has gifted us with, gifted us with just an extravagant gift. Yes, our. My mouth feels funny when I do that sound. A great gift indeed. The ability for your ship to travel during night time. How does it work? I do not care, and I don't want to know. The only thing I know is, don't look a gift squid in the mouth. We are no longer bound by the laws of mere mortals. We are free to roam the open seas, including when the sun goes down. We are pirates. We will live forever. Everyone knows the best pirate crimes are committed at night. We can now steal treasure instead of sleep. Hidden bounties to be discovered. No more Zs for this crew. Onward, oh great pirate captain. Let's take this ship for its twilight maiden voyage. Nice. So that's what I was wondering, like... I wanted to go to bed, but I clicked this, and then it still worked. And I was like, oh, well, I guess we'll sail. And I thought it was because it was close to morning, but it's actually because apparently my sister made it that way, somehow. Uh, I think we need to go... So, uh, let me check. We need to go to a couple of places. Yeah, Hummingburg, Bottom Line Corps, and Oxbury. And I also need to go to Hummingbird, Sh Hummingbird Shrine at night time. 
I need to go to Nordweiler for an acetate. And I need to go to the Deadly Pulse Arrays and the Gold Dragon. Okay, so Nordweiler is over there. So if we... If we go here first... Um, then we can do some stuff there and then go to Nordweiler, do stuff there. Go to the bus stop and then go to bottom line core. I think that's the fastest way to do things. Commander, your humble servant needs to... <laughs> Oops. Yeah, sorry. But it's fun, you know. I love being your humble servant, telling stories and crafting monsters and having a dungeon master screen. What I don't like, though, is that I'm the only one buying all the books and usually preparing everything. But both Brian and Jerome are cool enough. I mean, yeah, they could for sure make an effort. Brian is chill, though. That being said, I always have to remind him of the rules of flanking. Well, me or Jerome, anyways. That guy, polar opposite, doesn't give a single freck about role-playing. He only wants to roll dice and find loopholes in the rules. Yeah, it pisses me off. But hey, at least Bob usually backs me up. Well, maybe Bob is in character a bit too much. But hey, who am I to judge? I knitted this for you earlier. It should keep you nice and warm if the weather ever takes a turn for the worse. Well, thank you. So, how are you... You're not really sitting on the chair, are you? It's not even your house. Why are you in here? Here's some fire glow. Don't be shy. Make me something extra spicy. I will. Oh, actually, I don't have... Oh, maybe we can make something spicy, actually. Let's do that. Uh, fire glow... Where is it? Only wanting to roll dice and find loopholes in the rules is how you want to play D&D. <laughs> you know, fair. Fair. Okay. So we want... Think? Would that work? I don't know what she... I mean, I know I know what she likes. I don't know what the food is specifically. I'm sure this works, though. Let me just do this. I spent a long time yesterday working on D&D actually. Just adding notes and things and making maps. Doing all kinds of stuff. It was good. Being the chicken chicken. She's not a chicken. Still a type of bird but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Talking about D&D makes you want to play in so long until next session. I know, right? Our uh, book is finally ready. About time. I've spent all my pocket money on glittery Ooh. dice. I'm more than ready. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I am the mighty Emderal of the... Ah, uh, screw it. I'm Jerome, okay? I know I should be in character, but whatever. Come on, what's the riddle? I see. This one's a doozy. I need to think about it. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, I'll figure out where to go. Okay. Great. Thank you for the hydrate, Yoda. Hope you're doing well. Plenty of birds eat di different birds. Yep. <laughs> yep. There's definitely birds that just eat other birds. 
or mostly other verbs. Not Nico, of course. Of course, Nico would never. Oh my god, I just realized I still have the drawing of Summer that Stanley made. <laughs> and now Stanley's gone. No. <laughs> Which is still interesting because Stanley never met Summer. So how could he draw Summer? But you know... That's fine. You remember Stanley need to get a job? He was not old enough for a job, Sam. <laughs> like he seemed like he was maybe 10-ish or something. The worst part is knowing the child life, child's life ended early. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Question is, can I go to Nordweiler and back? Thank you for the host trolls. Hi. How are you doing? If I can go to Nordwana and back before it's evening, that's good. Um, can't stay long? Well, that's fine. It's always nice to have you stop by for a bit. It's old enough in some countries. I mean, sure, it's possible to make him work. It's a question of should you? <laughs> Trouble getting to sleep, oh no. Well, I hope he slept okay. Afterwards. Because I know I have, I have days where I have trouble getting to sleep, but once I sleep, uh, it's actually really good sleep. So I hope it was like that. Don't worry about that. Um, that was just us breaking through some ice. Imagine having sleep troubles. Some. <laughs> Your entire channel is basically based around sleep. People having trouble sleeping. <laughs> I know breaking the ice is a metaphor, but we broke through some ice. You can see the leftovers right here. You can't tell me what to do, Kelcraft. If I want to break through ice, I'm gonna break through ice. Titanic was the ultimate icebreaker. Well, no, the the ice was the ultimate Titanic breaker. I think you got it the wrong way around, Son. I'm sure it left the dent. <laughs> maybe, maybe it did. Wait, what did I have to do? Find an S tape. Uh, was there another house that was? Yeah, this one. Okay. There you are. Strasbourg, 1944. What a year. But your Twitch chat telling me what to do is all you do. I mean, sure. You can tell me what to do. 
Doesn't mean I will listen though. But yeah, have a have a good birthday, trolls. And uh, thanks for stopping by, as always. Hugs to you as well. Go get the lion back. I can't. The lion is has passed on. That Gang Jeong. Nice. Um wait. Alright, I need to go to the Wait. It's this room, right? Yeah. Yeah, work day. I said work day. I, maybe it sounded like birthday somehow. But I, I said work day. <laughs> maybe I should have been more... I, I need to pronunciate better. Sometimes. Yeah, it happens. It happens. I could have also misspoke slightly, but I meant workday. Uh, what is that? That view? I love the look of these houses. They are so beautiful. My father was obsessed with architecture. He was a veteran. He went overseas and fell in love with the buildings. Even on the battlefield, he carried his film camera around his neck. He would also be always be taking pictures. Can you believe that? Despite all the violence and carnage, he still found beauty. Seeing those buildings fall left quite the impact on him. He didn't talk about it much. The war, I mean. Architecture became more than... Uh, he talked about that all the time. Did I ever tell you how... Uh, that I lost my purse with my address book and my mother's brooch? I don't think so. Well, that purse had, purse had that, that photograph inside. I would take it out from... Hmm, let me take a little break. Okay. Well, I at least showed her that. But now we have to go quickly before the evening ends. To the shrine. Alright, it's our annual Colmar visit at the Tools House. Well, the whole family is here. Uh, it's there, except me. Look at Uncle Atul. The grill, obviously. Look at your face. You're covered from head to toe in barbecue sauce. And it's adorable. Mum is beaming. She's so young, but so tired. Look at her eyes. Those are the eyes of someone who's not sleeping. Nice job, Stella. Keeping Mum awake all night with your baby tears. I'm actually happy mom's sleeping right now. She needs the rest. Plus, I get to talk to you all alone and have a drink. All right, let's turn to another page. Something from the middle. Another picture when we were living in France. Gwen is the middle one. Is this one? Uh, we're riding our bikes together. You and Gwen would always outpace me, leaving me behind. I guess no one wants their little friend's little sister running around them. When I was young, I admired her so much. Remember she would, would disappear from men months on end and show up out of nowhere? I thought she was so bold and amazing. Mom and Dad loved her. She was some kind of parent whisperer. I guess her home felt like her home. Oh, there's a postcard on the next page. It's from Japan. Oh. For Gawa Shrine. So we've seen these images before whenever the owls showed up. But now we're actually getting the story behind them. Like why they're important. Gold dragon. Okay, so we go to the gold dragon. Go to the meteor shower. 
um, and then go to bottom line core, Oxbury, and then back to uh, Furugawa. Yeah. Complete the gold dragon in under seven minutes, it says. Now, seven minutes seems pretty long, so I assume we can easily do that. Get sheared. getting confused because I I changed the layout so much that I now don't remember exactly where I have to go sometimes the garden is now all the way up here I'm also looking forward to D&D again next week. It's going to be great. I still have to do quite a few things, like prepare stuff, but um, I, I feel like it's going to be a very good session. But they always are, so I guess it's the same same as usual. Uh, oh right, they're sleeping. Oh no, they're not. They're on the way. Come on, walk a bit faster, come on. And I'm sure the sword won't be a problem, you know, it's not cursed, it's not, there's no, nothing wrong with it at all. You're just gonna get a new magical sword and it doesn't have any repercussions whatsoever. Very simple things. <clears throat> a new task. This creature is in pain. It will thrash and fight. It will be a decent challenge for you. As long as you don't forget to use your dash, dash ability, go. I will be timing you, of course. Find a pearl, you'll identify it and it'll be fine. Yeah, you'll immediately find a pearl, definitely. In the lake. Especially one that's worth 100 GP. Why would you not? Very easy to find 100 GP pearls, really. They're so common. Makes you wonder why people don't just go pearl diving more often. You want to try to persuade the clam to give you a pearl? Nice. Uh, I mean, maybe that'll work.
You'll have to find the clam first, though. No! are creatures right level six you get universal language it says you can communicate with any creature hmm i guess but then you need to be level six which you're not not yet at least level up a few times next session <laughs> well yeah sure you'll go from level three to six in the one session mm -hmm. come on dragon You bastard. You bastard dragon. Switching it up on me. I got this though. I'm not bullying the dragon, I'm helping the dragon. Like the gold was boying it down see now it's it's calmed down it's no no longer enraged you are showing promise what are you waiting for go on now student okay yeah removing the corruption maybe it was happy happier corrupt maybe maybe well no but it's not really talking to me either i didn't think of asking hey stella i can feel it in my bones the season is about to change we should take a look at the flowers you don't remember when we were neighbors we had these beautiful red anemones in our garden you look so surprised when they would bloom, bloom each springtime you probably thought it was magic or something you had the look of how did they survive all winter well flowers are resilient they remember that they want to grow to see the sunlight to feel its warmth that's what I like the most about you, Sweet Pea. You were always the right, brightest part of my day. I'm glad we were neighbors. Neighbors. Oh. Have a... Have a... Salad. And a hug. Oh. I have one memory I particularly cher cherish. It was one day after a particularly rowdy gym class. They came back to my room, fuming with hormones and desperation. One of my first years on the job. Shaping the minds of the youth, they told me. Anyway, I couldn't control any of them. They wouldn't keep still for a second. 
I wasn't shaping anything that day. I snapped. I started screaming. It was the only thing those monsters could understand. I told them truths that would only reveal themselves later in their lives. When you lose a parent, when you lose your best friend, when you lose your job. When you start to cr really crumble from the inside. After an episode like that, I should have learned a lesson. It, I didn't. I vowed to focus on talent and excellence. I vowed to never let go again and steal my resolve. Are you ready for another challenge? Yeah, okay. Visualize their patterns. Use your dash and light, light burst abilities. Right, here we go. I missed it. How did I miss that? Oh my god. Oh, these are the worst. Light burst ability? Which one did I mean? I don't think I did it. Did I? I can see you are sweating a bit. Good. These challenges are supposed to be difficult. You've earned a carrot. The little carrot, but a reward. Here it is. It's in form of a challenge, however. I have nothing more to say to you. Feedback over. Okay. 40 minus what? Minus 50, okay. 40 minus 50. Which is... Here? Okay. But first, let's go here. Hi, Goblin. Hope you're doing well. It's odd how little I have to do now. Like I've basically... I'm basically just wandering around doing the requests and not really building things anymore or like... I'm just doing the basic things. make some gold ingots and electrum sheets and then we can make the ship even faster uh gold gold we make over here gold is annoying to make though
At least we get 10 from that. And then I'll do five more. Hello, man. How are you doing? I think we're almost done with this game. It feels like we're very close to being done. <laughs> Doing all right, waking up. Waking up is always good. Though, well, maybe it doesn't feel good, but it's always good if you end up actually waking up. Electrum that actually takes a bit, and then pine planks. Uh, where is the? Oh, there it is. How am I? I'm doing good. Really enjoying this game still. It is relatively slow at the moment because we're close to done, so there's not a lot of spirits left on board. We're just doing the basics and traveling around. I've got most resources just readily available. Didn't want any improvements. So I won't, I guess. Wait, what did I need it for again? There was something I needed it for. Oh, for the upgrade, right. Uh, do I have everything? Except for the Electrum, yes. Okay. So let's get the Electrum. I'm just going to do this three times. Oh, two times even, okay. Easy. Wait, that's crystal glass. That's not Electrum. You silly. Why do I do that? <laughs> Why do I do that? I made the wrong thing. Oh well. We'll come back in a bit. you of you is so I'm looking for one person specifically for um, what's his name Buck yeah we're looking for Brian the bottom line corp Is this Brian? Is this Brian? Is this Brian? Wow, Buck sent you, finally! Oh, whoops, sorry. I mean, glad to finally make your acquaintance, Commander. I'm indeed Warderick the Bard. It was I who composed the ode to Flabbergon the Drunk. I who solemnly performed at the court of Queen Fluthian for her wedding. Mm. And I'll be the chronicler of the Silver Company once again. Pretty good, eh? <laughs> I love this character. 
Yes, you can count on me. I will meet you all at the Naked Mole Bear Inn as planned. And in the meantime, I'll scour the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Valalbul in search of very precise information. I also need to tell my mom. Okay, gotta go. See ya. Gotta run. Okay, right. <laughs> So we're bringing his D and D group back together, basically, <laughs> which is great. Okay, that didn't help much, actually. Hmm. Maybe light taps. Don't get scared. Why would get would I get scared, Age? Well, so hi. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Why is it not done? Come on. There you go. Okay. So that's done. No. That is empty. Did you eat my... <laughs> Herbal Breeze, thank you so much for the raid. How is everyone doing? Welcome to Spirit Fair. I think we're actually near the end of the game. I hope you're all doing well. Let me give you a little shout out. Oh, never mind. Aura's got it. Oh, Dorf Romantique. Nice. The game is very... Age. Thank you so much for gifting a subterrible breeze. How am I doing? I'm doing well. I'm really enjoying this game, yeah. Um, we are pretty far in. So I'm kind of done with most of it. We're just finishing some, um, some quests. It's a very beautiful game, just in general, and I, I love playing it. It's very chill, very um, just wonderful to play. Hi, Unknown Genius, welcome. But yeah, uh, how was Door from Antique? Because I, I know that game is very chill as well. It's very nice to to play. I haven't actually played it myself. I've seen people play it though. I, I do want to play it at some point, but I don't actually have it. It's very chill and cozy. Nice. That's always good. Also frog at a tea party. Nice. Oh, right. That's what I saw you playing. You're playing, um, I don't remember the name of it, but yeah, frog, something with a frog. <laughs> Tika, right. Such a cute game. It looked very cute. I didn't see a lot of it, but uh, it looks very cute. Like very, um, uh, what's it called? Like hand drawn art style, like it was almost um, childlike in a way. It looked very cute. Mm. 
Uh, which one is the one I need? Is it one of you? The dice boys? No. It was Book's friend's Bob. Which one of you is Bob? <laughs> Usually they have a different color than the rest of them, so I'm just looking for that. Um. Huh. I don't see anyone with a different color. Maybe they live higher, higher up. I don't know, where is he? Ooh. Or is it this one? No. The one inside? Mm -hmm. On my way to happier day. Well, that's good for you. Uh, I don't... Hmm. Don't see anyone else in here. Oh. Is it just one of you that's just wandering about? Surely not. Oh. I've talked to most of these before, so I'm just... Oh. I'm just looking for the one guy and I can't find him. <laughs> oh. Have a good lurk age. Oh. Hi Vic. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh. My landlord keeps telling me I have to pay rent. What's he up to? What? Of course you have to pay rent. You can't just live in a building for free, even though maybe that should be a thing, but you know. Hmm. It's not really possible in this economy. I'm gonna grab some lunch. Have a good lunch, Herbal Breeze. Well, I should just call you Breezy, right? I think. What are you doing, my house? Leave, please. Um, I don't... I mean, there's no doors in this place, so I'm sorry if I just wander into your house, but it just happens. mind because it can be easier for people yeah it's just shorter um i don't know either way is good i guess doing good good yourself a chocolate letter nice nice isn't it a bit early for that <laughs> i mean i guess it's still chocolate it doesn't matter but like <laughs> it's a little little bit early I think I'll buy some corn for dessert. Why not? I'm feeling out of control. Ooh. Corn for dessert? Um, ha! Finally! No, I won't bow before you. I know who you are, and although I respect your reputation, I am Elperin, Ranger of the Seventh Moon. Well, we found him. This is the guy. <laughs> and Rangers of the Seventh Moon bow to no one. As the leader of the Glorious Silver Company, I will uphold once again the Crusader's Mantle. Some preparations need to be made. And then, yes, I will ride my noble steed and regroup with you all. Go, reunite the fellowship. For the time has come and adventure cometh once more. What's a chocolate letter? Like, um, a, a literal chocolate, like, letter of the alphabet, basically. 
So like there's A, B, C, you know, in chocolate form. And they're basically... Um, it's kind of tradition to, in the Netherlands, on the 5th of December you have uh, a holiday where children get gifts and stuff and usually leading up to that um, they get like chocolate letters which are then usually either the first name of their letter or, or of first first letter of their name what brain please first letter of their name or uh, an s is usually what they go for which is like the shortening for the for Santa Claus, which is uh, the guy who shows up <laughs> uh, for the holiday. It's uh, yeah, it's a Dutch celebration. Just Dutch things, you know. Hey you, I can feel it in my bones. The weather is changing. We should take a look at the flowers. Oh, again? Oh, she... I feel so bad for her. She keeps forgetting what she said. Oh, it's so sad. We don't remember when we were neighbors. We had these beautiful flowers. You looked so surprised when they would grow. You probably thought... Well, I'm not sure. Flowers are strong. They remember that they want to grow, to feel the sun. That's what I like most about you. You were always there. I'm glad you were. We were neighbors. Maybe. We would find me, find a new place for me to live. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's going. <laughs> We're gonna bring her to the other door. I mean, it is about time because she she keeps forgetting more and more, so it's kind of. Oh my god, that's, that's that sucks. This is actually fantastic. No, <laughs> bad moment. Not not a good moment to say that. <laughs> The Silf Company has answered the call once again. We will soon traipse once more on the Elysium Fields of Adventure. May the eleven stars bless your heart, Commander. You truly have been an indomitable herald of bravery. Now our next step will lead us to a shifty tavern, the Naked Mole Bear Inn, nested in the frozen mists of the white hamlet of Nordweiler. But before our appearance at the mysterious premises, there is a little something we should accomplish, Commander. I certainly am entertaining the concept of sustenance. Yeah, we cannot come empty-handed. That would, wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, look. We should bring munchies, otherwise everyone will be miserable. Let's say some popcorn, a corn dog would be nice too, and uh, yeah, for dessert, toffee. Yeah, that should do it. All right, where was I? Oh yeah. This undertaking might very well be below your level, Commander, but it shall be a well-earned respite in our quest for justice and glory. Onward. Onward. Well, first, horn dogs and stuff. Uh, corn dog. Corn dog was corn flour and pork. Do we have that? We do. Okay. So that's one cooking. Oh, my hair. Oh, wait. I didn't need to go there. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? Sometimes when I want to navigate, I just go into the boat instead of you know, navigating. Um, actually, so what, what were the coordinates again? We needed to go to... It was something over here. I 
think if we go to this bus stop, we should be able to get there soon. There is rice flour in the game, Summit, yeah. I don't know if I have any rice at the moment. No, I don't. Which is why I don't have any, probably. Water the crops. Uh, oh, right. You need food. Have a veggie pot pie. I don't know what's a far wrong. Mother Chance is surely on my side. Come on, this old fashioned meal is incredibly delicious. Delicious, I say. So you wanted popcorn as well. So corn dog. Oh, not the corn, uh, not the wheat flour, rather corn, which is very quick. Popcorn, and then the other one was. Wait, what did they say the other one was? Popcorn. Oh, right. Um, uh, toffee, right? Where's toffee? Dairy and the sweetener. There. Okay. So... Take me away. Over here. then I need to navigate to 40 minus 50. not who I'm looking for. Are you in your own house? Yes, you are. Okay. Stella, 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 Stella. Guess what? They finally corrected the second module of the weapon manual. They added the critical tables on finesse weapons and clarified the rules of engagement. Right when I was about to call it quits, uh, call quits on war and worm, war and worms. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I was legit worried that it would go down the second uh, 2.5 edition path Hello. yes i know i'm not mincing words Hello. remember how they modified the spell casting system <laughs> if it's as if w and w was a kid game such as sorcery the reunion man even after all these years i'm still so mad at it i want a lemon <laughs> no he doesn't want a lemon uh let me give you the things you asked for which was toffee Toffee is perfect. Wow, it looks so yummy. Bob will be delighted. Wonderful job. Right. And then the popcorn. The popcorn smells great. Man, Brian won't stop talking about it. Wait, does he want anything? Because this seems to be for his friends. Um, corn dog. 
Right on, some good old corn dogs. Jerome and I don't always agree, but our friendship has been cemented by our mutual love of corn dogs. Okay, never mind, he likes corn dogs. You've got everything. Oh damn, sorry. Mm -hmm. By the lords of Wairon, our fellowship's larder has now been filled up to the brim with delectable victuals. Commander, victory won't have been simply earned on the battlefield, but in the kitchen too. Now let's soar swiftly and sprucely to the modern, modest hamlet of Nor Nordweiler. The, sil well, the silver company is bursting with impatience. The naked mole bear in its walls will forever see in their stones imprinted the memories of our congregation. Give the order, commander. Faith awaits. What are you doing? Have a carrot. I know you wanted to get up there just to eat my crops. Luckily you couldn't. You know what? I'm not even gonna grow any more crops. Just so you can't eat them. Take that. Rare coin collection. Nice. You made good on your promise to find these valuables. I know these bring back, back memories. The ring, your ring from a past marriage. Those coins from your brother, you say? You need to stop thinking of such things. Your past will always bring you shame. Your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one of those valuables. Take your time to decide, then you can give it to me. I need food. I know. Just. Um, have a mushroom salad. And. So, I choose either the ring or the coin collection. Coin collection. Must have been hard. Such is life. You live, you lose. Were you expecting something in return? I will let you have some time for yourself now, student. Yeah, I didn't expect anything in return, really. It was a lesson, not... Like... It wasn't going to give me anything. I knew that much. Uh, I think I needed to go to Furugawa. Which is over here, right? So, yeah, then we need to go to the shrine at night time. Oh, and we need to bring Beverly to the door. Maybe do that first. Because we're quite, quite close. Because I don't think it will be night time anymore when we get to Furugawa. So if I sleep, does that mean the boat will just keep sailing? No. Okay. I was wondering if that would work as a sort of fast travel, but I guess it doesn't. I have another teaching for you, and you're tough enough to not be broken. I need you to take me to the Everdor. You are equipped to do so now. We don't need to say more until we get there. Peace. Quiet. 
That is good practice. It starts now. That was fast. Wait, but that just me. That leaves me and Buck. <laughs> that just leaves me and Buck on the ship. Can I just join join their D and D group and then we play D and D forever? I mean. The they, they seem to have a spot, because it's Buck and then his three friends. So I could be a fourth player, right? So we'll just have this entire ship for ourselves and play D&D &D all, all the time. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad afterlife, I don't think. Do you remember? Remember those flowers? I can't. I think it's time. Time for me to admit it. I can't go on any longer. You know where we need to go, neighbor? Yes. Thank you. Oh. Well, one at a time. I... I know. I remember. Do you? The neighborhood? We... We were there with the the flowers. We were there in in that that building almost next door. You and me. We were we were neighbors. So sad. She just keeps looking around. Like knowing how much he used to talk makes this worse just because she's quiet a lot. You were always there. There. There for me, Stella. Oh. Goodbye, sweet pea. Oh. Every time, so sad. And this is what, like the tenth or something? It's fe it feels like there have been a lot. A lot of spirits.
Oops. Okay, we're still there. So we didn't drift or anything. Here, I know I've been working you hard lately. I hope you do understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline in their lives. For someone who takes others to the afterlife, you're holding on surprisingly well. I do have one last request for you. It won't be an easy one, considering what we've been talking about. Will you make the journey with me? Yes. Thank you. Of course I will. I always do. And we he'll, he'll have something else to say, because we can't leave right away. So we have to wait. Are they? It's Elena. So I, gu I guess she, they, whatever. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> so you were my first student in this place. I don't think you deserve a passing grade. I won't hold it against myself, and neither should you. A lesson you should learn from this. If life is hard, you should not, should not be hard to do to it. Uh, people have the ability to change. You have the ability to change. You can shape how you want to be. I know that this something is sometimes a tradition. The passing of a legacy. A token at the end. An heirloom. Something for you to remember my time here. I do not wish to give you one. However, I have prepared something greater. Tasks and requests from the great beyond that you will receive. A useless object will not make you think of me, but lessons will. Huh. Okay. Hopefully this will all be over soon. Let me think of something. Okay. I'll just say it. I just want to say, truly, from teacher to student, I am proud. You did good work. Thank you. I never really knew them very well. Like, they've only been on the boat for like a day, if that. <laughs> so it's, I didn't really bond very well. But I do like them as a character. But maybe that's also the idea, that they just arrive, teach you some lessons, and then leave without actually leaving behind anything. Just more lessons, basically. I've been thinking, when we get there, maybe, just maybe, we can hug. We'll see how I feel. Oh, finally, finally we get the hug. Because every time I tried, they were like, no, and they hated it. This is the only time I will let you. Come on. Oh. Final hug. 
the first and final. Now I haven't... Uh, oh, actually... Uh, so let's do this. Set it to there. Just so we're moving. May they rest, rest in potato. Exactly. May they rest in potato. So they said they wouldn't leave something behind. But they did. Huh. Um, right, so I was thinking of doing this. I don't know if that works. It doesn't work. Does it? Hmm. Like I thought it would... I thought it would, um, I'm not sure if it's a specific time to do, uh, but it will let you sky watch sometimes. So it will make the buildings like disappear and only have the sky visible. But maybe that's only in the evening. Just harvesting, harvesting some stuff, and then uh, I mean, there's not much I need it for anymore. Like everyone is gone. <laughs> well, not everyone, but just me and Buck. And I feel like I feel like even that. It's not going to last much longer. Like once we get to Nordweiler and he has his role-playing friends with him. I feel like that's going to be like the moment where he's like... Hello. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Wait, didn't I give you those? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> you made toffee, corn dog, and popcorn exactly the things that you asked me to give you and that I gave you. So now I'm questioning: Did you give me my st the stuff I gave you back, <laughs> and just told you told me you made them? Because that's kind of what it feels like. <laughs> I know it's not, but still. He learned to dupe items. Oh, damn it. Of course he did. Hi, Lei. How are you doing? Uh, our boat is very empty, Lei. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're sheep and stuff, but... The guy I just was with... Bug? This guy? It's the only person left. This is the only person still on the boat. Oh, well, unless you count Lily, but Lily's not a person necessarily. Everyone is dead. Everyone was already dead, Lei. 
They're just... They've just passed on. And now we're gonna see more memories of ourselves, of Stella. So, hope we're ready. This photo album sure makes you look well-traveled, sis. Listen up, because I'm going to read your embarrassing postcard. <laughs> Let me find my famous Stella voice one second. Dear Mum and Dad and Lily, my trip has been amazing so far. I'm even making new friends. What a boring thing to say. At this rate, the summer vacation will be gone in a flash. Last weekend I went to Shirakawa, uh, Shirakawa Go in the Toyama prefecture. I took a tour to visit these beautiful rice paddies. It was an impressive sight. Next to these incredible houses at the bottom of the mountains. It was especially beautiful at night with the glow of the moon. Oh Stella, you perv. He's an art curator for, from Germany. He's creating an art exhibition in Nagasaki. The tour was in Japanese, so he helped me with some of the nuances. He gave me his address and invited me to his show. I miss you all, and I can't wait for you to visit me in a few months. Stella. P.S. Stay out of my room, Lily. I didn't. Wow. You were so outgoing. I don't remember ever being like that. So full of life. I was always a bit dramatic, let's say. I wonder if you went to see Gustav's exhibition. That was his name, right? We never got to go on that trip to see you. Dad got sick around that time. He had trouble walking. His body was swelling and everything hurt him. I never understood why they kept it from you. They probably knew that you'd come back as soon as they told you to take, to take care of him. I got to see Dad get sicker and sicker. I wasn't able to do anything to help. and still remember your face when you got home. For a second it was like you didn't recognize him. Let's keep going. It's not like you've ever shied away from death. You basically made it your whole world. I'm sure you've got some pictures of when you moved to Montreal. Let's take a look. Oof. So that's interesting. So she talks about Gustav. Which was also on the boat. So that in our... When we lived, we actually went to see an ex exhibition by him. So it feels like all the people we've... Or maybe not all the people, but... A lot of people that we've ferried over were people we knew. Huh. Yeah, I don't need to go there. So we need to go to Nordweiler. Actually, where do I get need to go next for this? Oxbury, okay. Uh, so let's go over here. Just hug the kitty for a bit. It really is nearly the end of the game. Like, there's no way that it's much longer. Especially since this seems like like final quest kind of thing. Because it's the memories of the main character being shown and everything. Ooh. 
like everything coming t together, everything falling into place, like what happened. I'm just gonna keep hugging the spirit of my sister because of course I have cherry I don't know if cherries are actually good for cows do cows like cherries I'm sure they can they like them but maybe eating them isn't very good for them I don't know I'm not sure why they wouldn't be, just a thought. Because normally cows don't really eat cherries. Oh, actually, it's still night, isn't it? Uh, wait, first. Life hack feed cast cherry and drink cherry milk fre fresh from the other. Exactly. Fresh from the other. Sometimes grand events happen in the simplest of places. The air is damp with mead fumes, the atmosphere is, atmosphere is tense, and the onlookers gaze at your appearance. The naked mole bear in is a shabby parlor indeed. Its inconspicuousness it is its best well, is its best quality. A lot of people lost eyes here. You can smell the bloodshed in the air. The perfect rendezvous wonderful What is wrong with my mouth? <laughs> Like, I can't seem to form words today. The perfect rendezvous for the Silver Company. And indeed, our reunited adventures each come forth with a piece of in intricate scenario. Where Derek the Bard, in his research, found an ancient tome in the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Wallobu. In it, words of a very wise and ancient being, an oracle, had been mentioned by the sages of Wairon. Elperin, the noble ranger, met with the witch's, uh, witch's conclave of San Sandara. The witches talked about the leaves of an elder tree, and through their forbidden ritual of Almazar, awakened the tree from its ageless slumber. And finally... Oh! Cherries VT, thank you so much for the raid! How are you doing? What were you playing? Sound mind! Nice. I, I've not heard of that uh, game. I hope it was good though. Welcome everyone. Welcome to uh, Spirit Fair. We're actually near the end of the game. Um, so, spoilers uh, if you care about that. But, um, really interesting horror game. It was super fun. Nice. It's always good when the games are fun. <laughs> I've, n I've not heard of it. Is it like, um, what makes it interesting? Is is there like s mechanics that, uh, that are different from regular horror games or, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I, I don't tend to play horror games much myself. I do try to play some. For October. Um, this isn't really a horror game though. <laughs> this is a very cute game uh, and I love it. Yeah, I don't really get scared as Lay says. <laughs> so horror games are... I mean they can be fun, just my reactions may not be uh, that interesting. <laughs> And finally, Amderil, riding his white steed, Amderil. Amderil did nothing but argue on the internet about over the merits of the poison cloud spell cast at level 2. Good job, Jerome, once again. Commander, the silver company might have unearthed where our ne next step will be. Roll a knowledge skill. 18. Success. 
you can't shake the idea that the Oracle is indeed hidden in Furugawa. This can, on can be the only possible solution. Determined, you believe it's time to set sail towards Furugawa, to the Oracle. We just came from there. Oh my god. It's a new game, less than two weeks old. Oh, nice. Well, welcome, Marins. Marins. Marins? Sure. As well. Uh, thank you for the follow, I have podcast. I hope everyone is doing well on this nice Saturday. Hello. The Oracle is a being of immense wisdom. Only the chosen one will be deemed worthy. You will have to face the Oracle alone. He is as old as time, watching all of us mortals. You can find him in Furugawa. Find the Oracle. Right, you told me that. Uh, so I guess we're going back to Furugawa again. Wait. Letters from... I've marked a few errands for you to do. Francis will provide the details. Elena. You have a bit more to go. I think you can upgrade your stations, Elena. Oh my god. Even... Oh wait, that's the wrong... Even though they're not on the boat anymore, they're still telling me what to do. How dare. Getting scared in normal games sounds fun, we should try it sometime. How do you mean? Just getting scared in this game? For no reason? Or... I mean, I feel like Aura does that all the time. <laughs> Aura gets scared, even during normal games. <laughs> non-horror games. Not as much then. But it does make it extra fun when you play horror games <laughs> with Aura. Just because... Aura's playing forbidden, forbidden games lately. Which... What do you mean? Like... Um, do, you, do you mean... Uh, oh god. Why am I blanking on the name? Oh right, you don't want fruit. Um, Subnautica, yes. That's what I thought. I just couldn't... I was blanking on the name. It's partly because I was also focusing on his, his food. <clears throat> Big nope. Is it because it's underwater? Is that the reason? Yeah, I, I can definitely get that. Okay, so where are we? We have to talk to the oracle. Are you the oracle? No. Oracle is the one up here, maybe. Oh. No. 
Wait, which one is the oracle then? You? Where could it be? The oracle is the wisest being of all, Ramelda. Uh, where indeed? The word moist should not be allowed. <laughs> I should get back in, back to it. Okay. Get out of my sight. That's not very nice. A little simple life. Thank you again for your time. I am the oracle. Okay, we found it. I see visions of deception and hardship ahead. I see loss, sorrow and pain. I see hope, love and joy. You will return to the world with a token of passage. A piece of soul already paid. An item of immense value. An obol. But Spiritfarer, this is not what you came here for. You came here seeking answers. Mm -hmm. You will find these answers in those simple numbers. Minus 185, minus 92. Those symbols will show you the way. The receptacle of light awaits. The receptacle of light? I... I guess. Okay, sure. They will be forever transcribed in the archives, forever sung by the Belladeers of the Seven Corners. The Oracle has awakened. He talked to you. His puzzle might be cryptic, but you will no doubt find the solution. Of this, I'm sure. Roll... Uh, oh well. Nah, I think you can figure this one out on your own. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what to do. Uh, what did it... Uh, 18592. Oh, jeez, that's... Oh, that's actually very far into the... Into the unknown. I've not been there. I don't really know what to do anymore with my time. Like, I'm just passing the time. It definitely wasn't me. Do you share the sheep? Wait, where did you go? Amazing. There's one person on the boat and I can't even find him. Like if he's not in his house then oh wait now he is what wait did I just not see him earlier? Mushrooms gives you snacks. Sheep has been shared before he dropped off the other passengers. Then one of them might have... 
that didn't happen before. Huh. I only notice it now because I don't actually pay attention to them that much. The only one I pay attention to is Bray because I need to sometimes feed him so he doesn't eat my crops. Even though I don't have any crops right now, so I don't need to feed him. Easy enough. <laughs> That's how it works, right? If there's no food to eat, then they're happy, right? Then it's all good. <laughs> if you let it die, you can get a new passenger. No, no. Like we're basically, there, there's not many passengers, or I don't think any passengers left really to get. Improve your stations to the full potential, complete endless errands with fences. Like that's post but it's like, you don't have to do that, necessarily. <laughs> Hidden shrine, oh. Oh. That is worth? What kind of power up can we get from this? If the animals are ghosts as well, do you really need to feed them? Exactly! I don't think you do. <laughs> the oracle's words were true. Commander, these dark woods conceal a shrine of immense power. Old ancient shrines have a will of their own. Imbued with the divine power of Helter and the wise, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Ramalda. Only you, the chosen one, can resonate with its magic. Only you, the ch star child, can wield the glaive of divine justice. Go, commander. Cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. May your actions enlighten your path. Okay. May, may the light embrace me or something. Light burst. Was cute to release Everlight energy in all directions around you. Nice. I don't know what that's for, but it sounds cool. I'm gonna head out. Okay, Cerise, thank you so much for the raid again, and I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Blessed be the eleven stars, you definitely are the chosen one, the light bearer, the sun bringer, she who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. The power bestowed upon you be the very fabric of this world, but by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon, a weapon whose power will rival the thrice forced glaive of Elfoldur, the first of the Dalars. Alas, this party must split up now. The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it is time for its members to ride back to into in their homesteads. Also, these guys are past their curfews and need to get back home. Let's track back to our galleon, where I shall describe our next task in great lore-dumping details. Also, I need to look again at my notes. Yeah, making sure you have your notes all in, in order and stuff for D&D is always good. Very important. Commander, I must sadly bequeath you with a grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguished light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval, um, the primeval evil powers of the Lich God Gord Nemloth by ourselves. We must rally to our cause, the free people of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. We will trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. 
The fires of Tondor might be known to you already. Cradle of Light itself, the Tower of Radiance, where you met me, your humble narrator. The mo then the most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nested at the heart of the Gallery of Sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the internal ice spire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you may have to know that our roads will all be all but safe. I must warn you of the great danger posed by the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan. Their master, the war chief Omgrothog, one eye, is Grom Nemlos vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us at the faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative. One, fumble, you are completely taken by surprise. The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow ugly, ro ugly roars. The Shadow Steel Clan will devour your innards, shouts Grom Gotha, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself, and commander. Some of these foes will be protected by Gornomlas' nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter that protection. May the fight begin. Oh no. The orcs. Orcs. They're everywhere. Get them. Die, orcs. Die. Are we getting XP potions from this? I was wondering where I would get those from. Fight me, orcs. They're cowards. Cowardly orcs. Wait, I thought this wasn't orcs in this dive, but apparently it is. and Rowan will answer exactly. <clears throat> Crawling through the debris, wounded and vanquished, Gumlord Gotha extirpates, extirpates himself from the field. I will be back, stronger and cooler. In a shriek, the routed orc vanishes from the remnants. This was astounding, Commander. Your fighting aptitude is exceptional, but there is not a minute to waste. Cowering deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are regrouping and planning their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor! To the fires of Tondor! The beacons are lit! Tondor calls for aid! It's over this way. Oh my god. We're getting so many raids today. What is this? Goblin. Why did I say goblin? Dan. It's because the first message was from goblin, I think. Dan, thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? How was the stream? Because you played more Outer Wilds, right? Yeah, you did, of course. I uh, hope it was good. Did you uh, get spooked by things? It was awesome? Nice. That's good. Hi, Frith, as well. Everyone, hope you're all good. They spooked you good. Nice. So we are um, we are playing Spirit Fair, and um, honestly, it's getting kind of lonely. We're near the end of the game, and um, everyone is leaving us. <laughs> it's great. Um, it's, it's lovely. 
Like the only person left on the boat is um, our friend here, who is sleeping. Um, he likes D&D. I like D&D too, so we can just hang out, play D&D together, um, all that stuff. Until I have to actually bring him away as well. But surely that won't happen anytime soon, right? You've got things for me to do, gonna lurk, get some food, sort things out. Okay then, yeah, you do that. Have some good food uh, and a good lurk and everything. Um, and do whatever you need to do. Uh, I'll be here <laughs> for a bit still until I finish the, ge the game probably. So yeah, we're just hanging out, not really doing anything specific because well, we're doing specific things, just uh, mostly waiting because we need to um, just drive the boat to places. Because <clears throat> everything else I've basically done, like we just go need to go to places. We can get some more upgrades, but it's not really necessary i don't need the shenanigans thing like i'm not going for 100 percent completion here but we'll we'll get there okay so first lighthouse or first fire of Tondor, I should say, right? <clears throat> the beacon is lit. Tondor calls for aid. Okay, that's one. Then... Uh, actually... Let's do it like this. Let's stop by Francis for a bit. You did it, Commander. The first fire has been lit and you can hear the hopeful chants of the free people from afar. Your worth is grander than the mightiest arm of Roxador the Paladin. The moonbirds of Va'eron will soon sing your praises in all the languages of Romalda. But, Commander, as bright our, as our moments of joy can shine, we have to remain vigilant. Gumgata and his lackeys will probably be alerted by the sight of the glorious fire and lurking in the branches. Roll initiative. Fifteen. Great. Hi, Harv. Welcome. Amidst the screener of the exotic foliage, you can clearly decipher a group of orcs and goblins progressing towards your encampment, getting closer. Springing from their retreat, they jump on you. Fight! No! Not orcs! More orcs! Orcs! Many, many orcs. Wait, where are they? Over there, over there. So close. You stuck debating buying new games? Oh, that's always. That's always the question, isn't it? 
Do I buy a new game? <laughs> I've already got these games, but new game, maybe? <laughs> Question mark. But then your wallet is like, please no. <laughs> please don't. <clears throat> I've got a favor to ask. Yes, yes, me a favor. How odd it must be for you. Nobody must ask you favors for on this grand boat of yours. Listen, as a wandering merchant, I'm looking for my next customer. I can't really do the simple things in life. I always need to be ready. Now I have an important errand. I need you to get my groceries. I know, I know. I just can't live off efficiency goals forever. My grocery list might seem strange to you. Yeah, okay. Wait, your shopping list is... Thank you for the follow, Urnmo. So his shopping list is two diamonds, five electrum sheets, and 20 eggs. Are they... So... Does he just eat eggs? Or does he also eat the electrum sheets and diamonds? Like, it's a groceries, so what does he do with the diamonds? Does he need them for like, making uh, something? I don't know. Uh, I don't need anything else actually. You could just play Dota. That, that is true, you could just play Dota. Very tempted to get Red Dead Online. Frostpunk is on sale. You could get Ubisoft Plus for months to play Far Cry. Yeah, all decent choices. I've not played Frostpunk, I don't think. Or Red Dead, for that matter. But I've heard good things about them, so... Do your groceries, Fallon. Yeah, do your groceries, Dan. You forgot the store closed because of lockdown, so you're doing other things. Oh, Dan. Oh my god. Thus, from what was an epic battle barely settles, layers upon layers of evil carcasses litter the ground of the battlefield. You are exhausted, but once again victorious. Make a perception check. 14. Success. As you observe your defeated enemies, you can only wonder where Gumgata lies. He is nowhere to be seen. His pathetic retreat doesn't surprise you. He is a fo follower of Gum Gornemlos, after all, and this cowardice is notable. Quick. That's right, post haste. Your next fire awaits. The next fire, I should say. Okay. Next fire. It's over here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Lordy Pier and then Sandwich. Wait, Sandwich Walk? Really? I don't remember Sandwich Walk ha having a light like that. Maybe I just. Because these were the two I remembered. I guess Sandwich Wall could have one. I just never noticed. You played the campaign on PS4, but you ne not played the online thing. Fair. Yeah, I, I never really played those games for the online thing. Even though the only reason I played GTA 5 was to play online. But that's because I played with friends. So I, ne I never actually did the campaign for GTA 5. It never really interested me.
Oh no. Oh jeez. That's the other thing. Do you know anyone playing Red Dead? That is true. Um, especially nowadays, a lot of people have moved on, I feel. I'm sure there's some still playing. But far less than there would have been in the peak time, peak days. Okay, so let's go back here. As the second fire of Tondor is lit, clamors of ex exultation spread through the vast expanses of the kingdom. The Chosen One has arrived. She who bears the light will help us all. Glory to the Commander. Glory to Halor. Your heart lifted by such grandiose acclamation. Your soul irradiates with serenity, but your mind remains watchful and perceptive. You know that, stirred by an upheaval that marks their near demise. The orcs of the Shadowsteel clan must be closing on your position. And, lo and behold, roll initiative, 20, critical. Without a moment of hesitation, you jump into the fray, taking by surprise the approaching phalanx of orc fighters. You ready yourself to mow through them with deafness and style. Fight. Nice. Bam, take that orcs. I'm glad Sunburn isn't here. <laughs> he wouldn't like me fighting the orcs, I feel like. <clears throat> oh, don't clip that. Grimjaw. I feel like Grimjaw wouldn't mind me beating up orcs. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, these are evil orcs. Oh, Dan, you got beat up by a toddler. Oof. That's... that's rough. They didn't stand a chance. What remains of their shattered dark armors is promptly blown away by the swift northern wind. Commander, you are victorious once again, and this time Gotha couldn't oppose your strength and was heroically slain. The orcs of the Shadowsteel clans shall henceforth dread your might. Cunning they will have to prove to even attempt to find you. But let's not dawdle a second more, your goal is within grasp. Let's sail again, to the ultimate fire of Tondor. I can't remember what it is. It's like a little bug. It's a li little bit like a ladybug, kind of. Um, so where was... Was it this? Yeah, it was that. So we can go over here. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I mean, it is like getting close to dinner time, so it makes sense. I feel like soon I'll just be alone on this boat with my chickens and sheep. Which still isn't bad. You know, that's still nice. 
pretty chill life. Just plenty of food with all the orchards and stuff around. Yeah. You need to help the boat pass on? I don't... I don't know about that. It's a bad day. Why is it a bad day, Harv? Just murder some peeps to get new ghosts? No! I can't do that. We can get a new cheat though. There it is. The last fire of Tondor. All the fires are lit. And we have a new sheep. New sheep friend. At last, the world erupts in elation. All the fires have been lit. Thunder has arisen. The lich god Gor Nemloth is on the verge of being defeated once more. But what is it? What is this terrible ruckus you hear? A thousand war horns roar at once. Could it be? Faithfully, yes. The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan, led by one eye Omgrothog himself. Clad in the eldritch armor of Rongmar, Omgrothog points this loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot. I will destroy you and the hopes of this world. Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner, fa inner, inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check. 18. Success. The orc won't scare you, for you are the light bearer, the chosen one. Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of. Fight. All the poor, poor burp wants to do is DM. Yeah. Well, hopefully he gets to DM a lot in the afterlife. I'm sure there's a lot of people in the afterlife that want to play D&D. Sounded wrong? Why does it sound wrong? Me talking about him being in the afterlife? Maybe. <clears throat> Could have some awesome cameos in the afterlife? That is true. Could have some people show up and be like, Here, here's the legendary... I don't know, uh, Kurt Cobain, <laughs> for, for whatever reason, um, like a, as a bard. Terry Pratchett writing campaigns, oh my god, that would be amazing. <clears throat> Talking about D&D players in the afterlife? Maybe. Unimaginable. Through the thick mist of the aftermath, a silhouette is barely discernible against the terrifying backdrop of a gar gargantuan battle. All three people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in as at an atmosphere as thick as rock. Victory! The Chosen One has triumphed! She who bears the light has conquered. In a crackling sound of terror, Gor Nemloth's shadow stops immediately, its course of the, over the darkened sky. The lich god is no more. May the radiant fae bless our souls. May Halor f forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imelda sing our praises for aeons to come. The world is saved, and now jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope, her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but, uh, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her heavy shoulders, unload her burden, and once more gaze at the stars. Hot oh, damn, I'm tired. Congrats, you did it, Stella. 
Okay, now if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventure we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? A post-apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe? We'll see. The verb is at 11, you need to take it down to 3. <laughs> I really like how passionate he is about it. It's amazing. <clears throat> The problem is that the, him talking so much makes my voice go. <laughs> I think we need to drink a bit. <clears throat> okay. Oh, thank you, Lumen. I will hydrate again, because that was... The other one was for me. One day you will bully the Dan. One day. But that day is not today. So I do wonder, does he just stay around? Or do we actually bring him... It would be interesting if he just never left and he's just like yeah i'm thinking of new campaign ideas that we can do in the afterlife and all that that would be pretty fun <laughs> but i feel like he will he will actually leave soon very soon. So... Uh, I never built... I could get cotton fabric. Could also get a zip line. From like here to here. I think that would be pretty cool. Then we get some cotton fabric. I do need to hurry this up actually. Uh That's enough. Is that enough? I think so. All right. Um, no. Oh, we're too late. The night has passed. No. So I've built all of this kitchen, garden, sheep, uh, do do smithy, cow stall. Yeah, I think I've built everything, basically. Uh, 
though I don't think we can do this right now. Did I win? Did I win what? Skillcraft? Like the game? Because I'm, I'm not done with the game yet. Oh no, we have to wait. I thought maybe the morning is enough, but... But no, not quite. We're getting there. You fell asleep? <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you had a good nap. Yeah, we got a couple of raids from lovely people, which was great. So I don't know if I can... I can't really rest until evening, can I? No, I'll have to wait until it's evening again. Are you up? Oh, there you are. I'm impressed. Your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells could be a bit optimized for sure, but your roleplay is freaking A. Even Bob was impressed. And yeah, we've never had a girl at the table before. We're happy you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try to finish the campaign to the best of my ability. More NPCs, more background elements, more magic items. Nice. I have... Uh... I thought I had a snack somewhere. Oh, I have toffee. Oh, right, you can't. Right. Have some popcorn then. Oh, comfort food. Nice. Have a good, good hug. Uh, actually, talk to you more. I mean, Stella. I, I, I. Well, I can't believe the campaign is over. I mean, yeah, I'm thrilled, but I don't know. I feel empty now. <laughs> you know what? I'll prepare a little something else for you. Something simpler, maybe, just to take a breather. You'll see. I'm not sure if I like what he has prepared, but sure. We... We So we could just do this for the entire day. And bounce. So I can still improve some things. I don't know if... Let's see, silk fabric, steel sheets, silk fabric, silver ingots, homemade paper, linen thread, carbon powder. Linen thread. Oof. Need lots of linen then. That and that, and then I need rose gold sheets. Jeez, very expensive. Sustenance. Oh, nice, thank you. Candy. Let's do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
And then the silk threads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that should be enough silk for whatever he needs. Uh, a diamond, jeez. So his, his figurines are made out of gold Silk fabric, diamonds, and silver. Those must be some damn expensive figurines. Like, a figurine made out of diamond is like... What? <laughs> You're just showing off at that point. That's why figurines are so expensive. Definitely. Now we need copper. So we need to smelt copper and silver. Um, I don't have any silver, that's great. That is great. So we need to go back to the silver dragon. Do I want to do that? Like we don't need to do it as far as I can tell. He hasn't asked me to upgrade his house. And the other one I could upgrade isn't even on the boat anymore. So why could I, why would I upgrade it, right? Um, Silver. So I can't do that, I can't do that. I can do steel though. I can do steel. I have some weapons. I'm sure that's safe. Right above the bed as well. Nice. Won't cause any problems when that battle axe decides to fall down. trying to keep myself busy but it's still a bit until the evening um, so I guess we'll make the rose gold thingies
I wonder when he'll ask me for something again. I mean, surely he will, right? Can't just stay on the boat and not ask for anything else anymore. That's not how it works. Okay, it's almost evening. Almost. We're getting there. I'm trying to think of what I want to play tomorrow, since this game is basically going to be finished soon. At least from what I can tell. There's, there's not a lot left here. So I still have um, Plague Tale Innocence, which I thought could be a, a good game for October, since it's kind of... I mean, is it horror? Does it count as horror? Not really, but... I guess there, there's horror elements in it, definitely. Um, there were some other games. I think there was. What was it called? I, st I still have it on my list. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna tab out for a second. Not that. Improve. Boom. Fully improved. So what was it? Um, oh right. Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. <laughs> Which I was told to maybe play. I have no idea what it is. But it's it's a horror game. At least sounds like one. So that's an option, I guess. You remember it's a, it's adorable. Yeah, maybe a good option then. Um, not sure what else. I mean, I have other games, just mostly thinking about uh, October games with the spooky theme. <clears throat> That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? When you moved out of the house to the big city, my big sister striking out on her own? Yeah, that place was such a dump. Sorry, sis. It was. You could decorate it all you wanted. It would always smell whatever your neighbors were cooking. You could always smell what the neighbors were cooking. You could always hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. Well, not quite alone. With Daffodil. Daffodil. Right, the cat! Oh my god, the cat! I was like, the name rings a bell, but I couldn't remember. It was the Daffodil is the cat. The cat that's still with us. Oh my god. Speaking of which, I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. I don't remember us talking that much during the time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common, except death maybe. For me, after dad, I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how you can deal with it constantly. Working at the hospital with people at the end of their lives around you all the time, helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. It was summer. She did not grow quick. The cancer stayed inside her and took its time. It even gave her some hope. 
but it came back harsher. Mom was devastated. It's probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind-spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom, with all those plants and that heat. It was like a sauna. She said something about the body being like all living things, especially plants. I just remember being mad and sweating a lot. Then there were the friends you made along the way. That Giovanni and his wife Astrid. <laughs> to hear you talk about them, they were basically your adoptive grandparents. And the stories that would come out of their mouths. The cheating, the lies, the heartbreak, all those headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at the end of the, at, at the end. Even if she had moved on. Even if she had found someone else. He was her one and only Gio. Forever. They both knew that they only had each other in the end. That's how I want to go out, sis. Holding the hand of the one I adore. I think I need a refill. Maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you go anywhere. Oof. Well, that's... That actually brings everything together. So this entire thing... The people we see, like Astrid, like... All the people were people we met in the hospital that we cared for... Until their end. And these are just memories, and oh my god, let's grey mist peaks. It's so well told, and yeah, I I can imagine Lumen. It's it's a very sad game especially now the, the like each of the stories is already sad and then you find out like yeah those were actual people that you helped and you, you're i mean dead or in a coma or dying yourself it's yeah it's a lot <laughs> well i i think so the sister is telling this to me in the hospital while I'm dying. So she's talking about my previous life. This, these are my experiences in life, basically, in the hospital, caring for these people, helping them. Their stories are the stories I've heard in the hospital. And then they're being told again by my sister, who is at my deathbed. So it's... <clears throat> if that makes sense, at least, the um, explanation. So we aren't fully dead. But we're dying. <laughs> and we, we might as well be dead at this point. Like, um, we got where this spirit is. This basically is a representation of our sister. It was a flower, and that, that flower represented our death, our passing, like it did with all the other uh, people that we. Whenever we brought someone away, they would leave a flower behind. And at some point, this overgrew the place I stayed and flower grew in this area. After we had a third encounter with the owl, who basically told us, like, you knew this time was coming. This is basically it. Like, you're dying. This is the end. Um, and I, I guess this is just our dealing with it and trying to um, what's it called 
trying to fill um, trying to get our memories in order or like remembering our life I guess sort of you don't want to go you don't have to go well we do but you know we don't have to go right away first gonna hear more stories oh jeez this is the wrong way <laughs> oh shit sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the halls. <laughs> look at you. You look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're still gorgeous. Well, this whiskey bottle is half empty. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and say you drank the rest. Do you remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. So you called me two weeks or something after. It's maybe two in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. You start talking about the trees around you and the air. No, hi, Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing, just talking about the trees and the air. You said it was cold. That it felt like death, even over here. I didn't even know where here was. You went silent and... And you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? Was that whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told mom and me of your diagnosis. And now we're here together. Mom is awake and I'm awake. I'm holding your hand. If you can hear me, I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. Oh. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that that is very brings Well, Jeez, that that hits hard. <laughs> That's very real. I think it's. I guess it's time. Like we can hang out a bit longer and do more improvements and stuff. But I feel. Well, actually, what about? What about Buck? Like he hasn't... He hasn't talked to us anymore. <laughs> Do we just leave Buck? Like the ship is yours now, Buck. What do we do? Going to sleep. Good morning, Jem. 
you caught us at a a, a sad time. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Oh, well. Oh, thank you for the follow, Alicia Bell. Uh, at least you're doing well, Jim. But yeah, so this is our current objective. <laughs> I think that says a lot. <laughs> you have been wanting to interrupt the touching moments. That's fine. Uh, I hope you are having a good time here. Especially the text below it. My, my time has come. I'm no, no longer alone. Lily and Mom are here with me, holding my hands somewhere out there. Mm. Hey. Mm. All of them. Mm. They're all here. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. You go crying again. Oh no. Oh. But what about Buck? What about Buck? He's still alive? He's still here? Do I need to tell him, like, I'm going? Um... <laughs> All of our spirit friends. Um... Bug? Where did you go? Wait, where is he? Oh, there you are. No. Oh. I, I can't even talk to him. Wait, what do I do? Like, do I just leave? <laughs> I feel like I'm leaving something unfinished if I just leave with him there. But he hasn't given me any other requests. I don't know what else to do. Should I look it up? Just in case. There's Tondor. There should be something. So, this is the end, Juggernauts, yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like Buck should have something to say. Like, it, it, when I look at look it up, there's no extra quest or anything. Like, I've done all there is, so it doesn't... So I do know he doesn't go through the Everdor, but I thought there would be... Do you want to continue? Yeah. I thought he would say something before I went, but... I feel like he was supposed to. <laughs> I 
Like I, I do have the thing he's supposed to say. Um. Stella, look, I, I have something to tell you. Now that there are only the two of us here, you might have guessed it already, but yeah, I can't really go through the ever door. It's really hard to explain. My guess would be that I've already been through it in a weird, strange way. See what I mean? S sorry to break it to you, but I don't think there is more to it. You, me, us, this world. Listen, I really want to put you to push forward to it, Frank, no, but you know, I think you should try accepting your fate. I'm really not one to give you advice, far from it. Funny thing, I don't even know if I accepted it myself. My presence here might give us a clue. That being said, if you say, I'll try to entertain you to the best of my abilities, but there's not much I can do, you know? As if, as if I were somehow limited. As if an invisible barrier existed in me too. I kind of feel it, you know? Sorry, Commander. I'm really sorry. I think that's a decent moment to read it. Do I? I mean, I can sit here for a while, but. Oh my god. Such a beautiful game. all the dream <laughs> if only <laughs> but yeah that was that was spirit fair Jeez. I think we did basically everything like I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything with Buck I didn't he just didn't say the thing at the end for some reason. And I'll take your hand and Happy times. It was a really like chill game, really fun game to play. But just hard hitting moments. And especially this ending. It's like the revelations and everything it's it's well told it's beautiful but also very sad and I'll take your hand and it's a very very well made game all the sound is awesome too yes takes to move on to like the sound design is very good, well done music is great 
or everything art style like I can't really think of anything to fault the game besides maybe being a sl bit slow at times but I think that's on purpose it's not really a fault necessarily it's just me not being not having the patience To all our lovely thunderings across the world. <laughs> oh. I don't know the studio very well, but I, I, I hope all their games are as good as this. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. We're done. So now what? Now what? <laughs> Ninety-eight percent. I'll take it. I don't think. I don't think it's necessary to do more. That was beautiful. So yeah, that is gonna be it for today, uh, as well. Um, cause I, I don't, I don't really want to start a new game and then have to stop after like a half an hour, hour. So I think we're just going to end it here, uh, and give someone a big raid because apparently a lot of people decided to raid me today. Um, which is amazing. All the, all the lovely people. Um. Let me see who I can send you over to. Back tomorrow for the pre-pizza stream. Yeah, for the pre-pizza stream. Um, I'll, I'll have to see what I'll play. I think it'll be Plague Tale. I think it'll be Plague Tale Innocence. Um, let me send you over to Kirsty, I think. Because Kirsty is lovely and playing Minecraft at the moment. So let's go say hi. What, pizza? Yeah, pizza tomorrow. I always have pizza at my parents. The thousand, thousand drugs. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, sure. <laughs> but yeah. I hope you all had a great time. Thank you so much for the raids. Uh, Breezy, Cerise, Dan. Uh, three, uh, three very lovely big raids. Uh, I, amazing people. I don't even know why you raided me, but thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the stream. Um, hopefully I'll see you some other time as well. Uh, maybe tomorrow when I'm back with Plague Tale. Um, but yeah, besides that, have a great rest of the Saturday. Go say hi to Kirsty for me. She is lovely. Um, yeah, send all the love over there. Be be lovely as always. And um, yeah, I'll go have some dinner soon because I'm hungry. And I'll see you tomorrow or some other time, whatever. Have a great one. Bye bye.